Hi everybody, it's Bethany from QuarterCreatives.com. Um, this blog is going to be about the importance of a good looking logo. Um, later on in the blog, I can, I'm going to talk about, of course, um, other things like stationery, um, brochures and things like that, but this blog specifically is about logos. Um, every once in a while you come upon these logos that have been timeless since they were created. These brands have been around ever since you were little, I was little, and we remember them um, specifically for certain things about the logo, whether it's their uniqueness, the font, the color. So I'm going to be talking about that and the five main things that I look for in a logo and that I always make put on my checklist when I'm creating a logo. So first I wanted to show you a couple of timeless logos that I personally love because they are unique, they're simple, and they're memorable. And the first one is BMW. And um, what makes this unique is, of course, this little checker pattern in here. And lo not a lot of logos have that. And there's a reason because it's, it might be simple, but it's a little hard to look at. But they were able to put it in this circle here, which kind of confines it and um, isolates it to that space. And of course, a lot of logos just have a couple of colors, and that's because it draws the eye, but it does not make it look messy. So that's a good one there. Another one is, of course, McDonald's. Everyone knows McDonald's, the Golden Arches. One color, um, it's always been this style. A lot of companies change their logo over time to keep up with the trends of today. Um, this is one that hasn't needed to change because it's so timeless. Apple. This one has changed a little bit over the years, but pretty much it's been the profile of an apple, simple, one color, um, and it's great. Everyone recognizes it. And not just because they have good product, good prices, great customer service, but because their branding is so strong. And of course some other ones, um, IBM, Shell, Nike, Panda, um, things like that. Logos, they're simple, Starbucks. They're simple, but they're recognizable. So I wanted to tell you my five rules for creating a logo. The first one is simple. I know I've been saying that word a ton, but it's just true. And it's not necessarily the more simple, the better. Um, like Disney, for instance, there's just, they have a trademark font, that's it, and that's all they needed. Um, but you need that simplicity for people, because, you know, when, you're first, when you first look at a logo, your brain can only... Um, it can only see so much at one time. So if you put too much in it, it can either one, make it messy, um, or you can scan right over it if you have an entire thing of logos. The second is versatile. When you look at a logo, you're not just looking at it on one thing. It's usually on their stationery, their signs, their website, even t-shirts sometimes. So if you have a really colorful logo, you want to make sure that it is transferable to grayscale and transferable to things like t-shirts or on a wall, things like that. You want it to be timeless. And a good example of this is Coca-Cola. It's just the font. They have their own trademark font. And back, when you, when you see those old ads of Coca-Cola, it was perfect for that era. And it still seems to kind of be following the eras. It's just one of those timeless pieces. Number four is unique. Of course, you have to have a unique logo so it'll stand out from other logos. Um, you can have just simple little things that make your logo unique, whether it's the font, uh, maybe a color that most logos don't have. Um, things like that will make it unique and make it stand out. And number five is relevant. You as a company, you know your target audience. And me as a designer, I have to research, figure out who your target audience is, and make your logo relevant to your audience. Even if your logo, even if your company has a wide a range of ages for your audience, you can still make your logo um, pertinent to that entire audience. You always have a target audience. So clean lines, complementary colors, things like that are all things that I always um, try to check off of a checklist when I'm making a logo. Um, things like that will make it stand out. And I know a lot of small businesses, especially startup businesses, if they're in a little town, they don't think that they need those fancy logos and um, the corporate identity and branding that big corporations have but the truth is is that those big corporations they um they don't just have they're not just big corporations because they have great prices 
a great product and great customer service. They also have great branding and marketing. Um, so it's much more important than a lot of people think.